Lee Si Young has been taking the Korean entertainment industry by storm since she made her debut on screen appearance in 2008. Over the years, she has racked up over two dozen acting credits, and she's nowhere near finished yet. Most people recognize her best from her roles in KBS 2's Boys Over Flowers, MBC's The Guardians, and Netflix's Sweet Home. Here are 10 fun facts you might not know about Lee Si Young. She never saw TV before she was 9 years old. Ian A who is famous as E.C. Young, was born on April 17, 1982, in Cheongwon County, which has been consolidated into Cheongyu, South Korea. Most kids today are plugged into devices like TVs, game consoles, tablets, and smartphones well before they can even ride a bike. Technology is part of life. But actress E.C. Young admitted that she had never seen television before she was 9 years old. Before I moved to Seoul, I had never had a chance to watch TV as there was no TV in the rural area where I used to live, so I was very shocked at first. I came to think that I would like to appear on TV from that moment. But my parents opposed the idea of me being an entertainer. I just entered university as an ordinary student and began to participate in acting auditions right after I graduated. She studied fashion. Lots of professional actors have confessed that acting is the only thing they could ever see themselves doing, but that's not the case for E.C. Young. She has always had lots of different interests, and one of them is fashion. She majored in fashion design when she attended Dongdog Women's University. She used to be a boxer. This actress has always been the kind of person who isn't afraid to try new things. That fearlessness led her to a very interesting place, the boxing ring. She initially got into boxing in 2010 when she was preparing for a role, and she decided that she wanted to continue training. She eventually went on to compete in amateur boxing matches, and she even planned on trying out for the South Korean Olympic team. Unfortunately, due to injuries including a dislocated shoulder, she was forced to retire from boxing. Even though she retired, she still enjoys boxing as a sport, just not for competition. She has accumulated a few battle scars, including a slipped disc and a knee injury, she had to do some intense workouts for Sweet Home. Preparing for an acting role can be a very intense process, and this is something she went through when getting ready for Sweet Home. In order to get into character, she had to get her muscles shredded. She said in an interview, no one told me how much body fat to lose, but my trainer said I have to have about 8-9% to body fat for my muscles to show, so I started working out with that goal. I had to bulk up, and I ate a lot to the point I couldn't eat anymore. Then I adjusted my diet for the filming. When the main trailer of Sweet Home was released, she was the first to make headlines. Her angry back muscles caught the eyes of viewers while fleeing from the monster. For no mercy, she learned jiu-jitsu, even though she has boxing experience. In the 2019 movie No Mercy, she played a former bodyguard that goes against a criminal organization to save her kidnapped sister. In order to create more believable action scenes in which her character goes against larger men, the multi-talented actress turned to jiu-jitsu. She said, even if I do have experience boxing, this is a case when a woman needs to physically overcome a man. I worried a lot about whether viewers would think the action was plausible, so I learned jiu-jitsu. There are a lot of techniques with which women can physically outmaneuver men. She's not afraid to go natural for a role. Female celebrities are pressured into all kinds of beauty regimens and body modifications, from plastic surgery to extreme diets to wearing makeup every single day. South Korean beauty standards are near unattainable, and you're the subject of scrutiny by the public and the paparazzi alike. So it's no surprise that a lot of famous women toe the line, like never leaving the house without a face full of makeup. But E.C. Young is the exception. She cut her hair short, made it frizzy, and did not wear any makeup for scenes in Wild Romance. She said, at first, our director opposed my idea of having completely disheveled hair, but I insisted that I wanted to have that tangled hair in the scene. I finally came to have the hair that I wanted to present, and my appearance produced a huge laugh. She's very popular on TikTok. Over the last few years, the social media platform TikTok has really taken off, and E. C. Young is one of the many people who's been able to ride the wave. She has become very popular on TikTok, and she currently has over 15 million followers. What's even more impressive is the fact that her content has gotten over 300 million likes, she used to be a sauna mart owner. One finds themselves switching jobs as their goals change, uncontrollable events occur in their life, or if they want to challenge themselves in a new way. It's rare to see someone having a single job their entire lifetime. 
This is especially true for actresses, despite what many might think. In order to make her dreams of becoming an actress come true, Lee si Young went to many auditions but failed. Afterward, she ran a mart in the female section of a sauna and earned her livelihood this way. She finally made her acting debut in 2008 in a guest appearance on Urban Legends Deja Vu Season 3, followed by the historical drama The Kingdom of the Winds. Her breakout role was playing Oh Min Ji, the leading lady's only friend at school in the 2009 Boys Over Flowers. She's an avid hiker and loves to travel. Hiking is one of her favorite activities, and she has no qualms about heights. She loves getting the chance to explore new trails and mountains, and hiking has become a great way for her to stay active and release stress and tension. Her love for trying new things doesn't just extend to hobbies, she also loves to visit new places and be surrounded by different cultures. She has been fortunate to have gotten lots of opportunities to travel over the years, and her travels have taken her to different parts of the world. She often donates to help others. Giving back to others is something that is very important to the actress. She has been very intentional about using her platform to do just that. She donated money to help single mothers who are suffering during the COVID-19 pandemic. She has also donated to help victims of child abuse.